Hey YouTube, Copper Sand here. The Savior update is coming in a few weeks to MapleStory Global and even sooner to MapleStory C. In this video, I'll give tips on how to prepare for the upcoming Hyper Burning event where you'll get two additional level ups every time you level up yourself, all the way to level 250, and how to best prepare for the new Thief class Kali. So let's get started. If MapleStory Global follows the same release timeline as MapleStory C, the Savior update will first be released on the 14th of June, containing a lot of skill balancing, new events and a lot of quality of life changes. Like some Arcane River daily quests will become weeklies, as well as a nice EXP curve reduction between those levels. The Kali class will then be released two weeks after the update, at least if we follow MapleStory C, again assuming we follow the same release pattern. So first things first, the upcoming Hyper Burning event will most likely start on the 14th, you can make use of the current anniversary event to get a ton of event items that you can transfer to your new burning characters, even in Reboot. For example, all the rewards from the daily coin cap last for 10 days once you claim them and are transferable within the account. So you could wait with claiming those until the final day of the event and then transfer them over through the storage to your hyper burning character. Just keep in mind that you cannot use those level up potions on burning characters, so no point in waiting for those. While you're busy capping coins, also plan your rewards. If you have some coins left, the epic potential scrolls, flames, cubes and droplets are also tradable within your account, again even in reboot. The epic pot scroll would be nice to save up on and flames as well, just keep in mind that all of those have to be used within 10 days, which should just be enough time to get a permanent Fafnir set or else you can use them on your boss accessories for example. The droplets are also great to get so you can save up some mesos and get the arcane set faster. If you're on the regular server, I doubt you'll care much for those, just buy the arcane gear in the auction house. Also keep in mind, the flames and droplets from the boss token store are tradable within the account as well. You could also trade the 17 star scroll within your account, but with the star force changes coming with the savior update, I would not go for that one. After savior, items between 12 and 15 stars will no longer rank down and can no longer be destroyed but the price of star forcing will go up. This change should make star forcing at least a little bit less tedious. Besides all those rewards, you can also use the anniversary event to level up your link skill characters and legion mules. There are a ton of nice leveling events like the dolphin bonk event that I cannot show because I do not have any character left below level 200. <laughs> this event gives out free level ups to characters between level 141 and level 199 and it's great to get those legion mules to level 200. You can also use the wardrobe event to get a ton of exp on characters past level 200. This event is quite useful for getting link skill characters to level 210 for that level 3 link skill in MapleStory Global. Classes like Demon Avenger, Mercedes, Evan, Eren, Phantom and Ark all have great level 3 link skills used for grinding. And classes like Demon Slayer, Luminous and Beast Tamer have great level 3 link skills for bossing. If you're looking for other link skills, Hoyong, Kana, the Explorer Thieves, Explorer Mages, Lara and Kinesis are all great to get as well, but those will only go up to level 2. For Legion characters, I always go first for the special Legion effects, like Mechanic for buff duration, Shade and Hayato for critical damage, Marksman and Night Lord for critical rate, Wild Hunter for damage, Beast Tamer and Blaster for ignore defense, and Kana and Demon Avenger for boss damage. And if you've already created one, level up a 0 to level 200 for 10% bonus EXP. You can also check out my Legion and Link Skill video for all info on all Legion effects and Link Skills. Quick tip, if you have any mesos to spare, increase the Star Force on your mules. Star Force increases your Legion raid power so you can farm those Legion coins faster. And if you're leveling up characters assigned to Legion Grid, this will increase your raid power even more. Something else both Hyper Burning characters and Kali will enjoy are mesos. Get as many of those as you can by running weekly bosses, Ursus and Maple Tour. And of course you can grind for them. The more meso and drop rate you have, the better your grinding results will be. You can also save up on familiar cards and no stones when you're grinding, which are always tradable within your account. Another tip that I can give is complete Monster Park on Sunday for those boxes that can be traded within your account and those contain EXP cards on Sunday. And of course you can run other days as well for even more coins for those Monster Park potions. Weekly bosses also have a chance to drop small EXP accumulation potions and EXP buffs that work like MVP buffs, so make sure to boss. So quick recap of what we have so far. You can save up and transfer event rewards if you claim them during the last days of the event. 
You can make use of the same anniversary event to level up Link skill and Legion mules. If you want to get a head start on Mesos, make sure to defeat weekly bosses, fight Ursus, complete Maple Tour and grind for them. During your grind, you can collect node stones and familiars to use on your burning character or Kali even. And also get monster park boxes as those can be traded within your account and you can use those to get EXP cards and monster park potions. Keep in mind though that if Kali releases 2 weeks after the savior update, you cannot save up your anniversary event rewards for her as those will have expired by then. Also, quick question for everyone watching, what are you hyper burning? I'm still stuck between Ice Lightning Mage, Kane and Nightwalker. Well, let me know what you're burning in the comments. Maybe Bowmaster? I don't know. And I have another tip for Reboot players. If you want to skip out a few weeks of grinding for Absolab gear, you can start completing the weekly quests in the Demon Camp and Scrapyard on your current characters and then transfer the rewards over to your hyper burning character or even Kali. So that once you're strong enough to either defeat Lotus and Damien solo or in a party, you can grab some Absolab gear right away. And of course you can go even crazier by preparing EXP and wealth potions with alchemy. You can boost up your little farm in a regular server for some minor stat boots and collect monsters for those monster expedition rewards. That's about all that I could think of that you could do to prepare yourself. Keep in mind that Kali is a thief class whose main stat is luck and a part of the same race as Ilium, Adele and Ark. So you can also transfer over your Anish cash gear to her if you transfer those over to any of those characters during the cash transfer event. This event will be held from the 7th until the 14th of June. The Hyper Burning event will also have new rules that you have to keep in mind. Like always, you can only burn characters who are either newly created or already level 200 and higher. Kali cannot be hyper burned, but will always be terror burning during her creation event. If you hyper burn a character that's level 200 or higher, you won't get the rewards for the previous levels, the ones after level 200. So you will, for example, get a temporary Fafnir set, because this is a reward that you'll get before reaching level 200. But you won't get a level 5 Vanishing Journey symbol if your character is already level 205, for example. If you're planning to burn a character that's already past level 200, I recommend doing it at level 202 or, for example, 208. So you can farm a few more dailies, so you won't miss out that much from the rewards that you won't get. And that's all that I could think of. Got any tips that I missed? Let everyone know in the comments. And that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And as always, special thanks to our members for making these videos possible. Special thanks to Niels de Comic, Rama Waar, Sebastian Hanoi, Jesus Rodriguez, Claudie Mora, Y. Lee, Riser Aryu, Backspace OTI, Ziggy Deer, History Cannon, Sophronix, Flidiot, Knifesu, Cloudfix, Sir Tito655, Michael Manchaka, Raytheus, Afterlord, Betrayal1489, Silvio Nato, Striker Elk, Tidal One Pun, Victor Sundstrom, Matthias Simonson, Mr. Anark, Ben on Games, The Passenger, Kani Wu, Max Bernhardt, Muka1017, BMB King, Scotty Flies Fast, Gabriel Eck, Fecko, Vake Botnet, Dante Victory, Matinu Death, Snack HBG, Only, Lord Fazil, Pats D. Kaiser, That Archie Guy, Louis Bento Brandao, Snafflepop, Tails Curspet, The Wolf Drake, and Gamber Wolf. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and happy mapling!